good morning from the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. We are here today for an event that is happening right now called Taste of Space. It's a food event. Also, we're just gonna have fun at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. I'm so excited. One of the things I'm most excited for is Jackson. This is the first time he's been to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, I think ever. No, no he's been here one time before, I think. Has he? Well, this is the first time that he will kind of know what's going on. And he's gonna get to check out the kids' like soft play area. Yeah, play and there's, play. there's a big slide in there. So I think it's gonna be a highlight of the day for sure. I think sure. so too. I think and so he too. was already excited to see the rocket garden. Ooh. So I think today is gonna be really fun, educational. And exciting and delicious. Well, also it was interesting too because he just saw a rocket launch recently. Yes. Like yeah. we were at Four Rivers and one went off and I was like, look, there's a rocket. And he's like, oh, a rocket. Yeah. So now he's excited about rockets. Also, I wanted to say thank you to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex for inviting us out here to show you guys Taste of Space. Oh, before we head in, I wanted to tell you guys the price of admission is $75 for adults and $65 for kids three through 12. And uh, they also give a discount for active military and for senior citizens. And just as a side note, parking was $10 to get in. What do you think of those rockets, buddy? Can I go on You want to go in a rocket? <laughs> Whoa, we can go sit in that capsule right there. Do you want to go check it out? Whoa, I'm at an angle. <laughs> Whoa. All right. We're in a rocket right now. Good job, bud. So when you first walk in, you walk past Heroes and Legends and the Astronaut Hall of Fame, and then past the rocket garden. So these are all actual rockets that have not been to space. Their, their program was ended just before they were sent into space. So although none of these rockets have ever went to space, there is some interesting facts about them. Like take for instance, if you see at the top of this Delta II right here, it has the shark's teeth on it. If their shark's teeth were on top of a Delta II, that means that it was taking a GPS satellite to space for the US Air Force. Otherwise it wouldn't have the shark's teeth on it. Just past the rocket garden, we're heading into the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex's newest exhibit, which is called the Gateway. It's like walking into space. And the interesting thing about this is they actually have some space flown vehicles in here. Oh, there's an astronaut in here. It's a Robonaut. Look, Jackson and Mommy are up there having their picture taken with a Robonaut. One of the employees here told us that the Robonaut here went to space? He went up into the space station in 2011. They wanted him to do like little tasks. They wanted him to like clean and stuff like that. He wasn't working properly, so he wasn't up there very long, but he did go to space. Okay, so yeah. That's pretty cool. Just as like an FYI though, like not not that guy. Oh no? <laughs> not that guy. <laughs> like an actual There's Robonaut? There's an actual Robonaut. <laughs> He's just like He's the... a representation of the Robonaut. Okay, that's still pretty neat though. But speaking of things that have actually gone to space, this guy, right here, this is a SpaceX rocket that has gone to space. You can really tell that it's like the, the space wear and tear. Yeah, from re-entry and stuff. These are the ones that they would land on the drone ships. Wow. Well, we came up onto the second floor and Jackson is launching some satellites out there. Look at that. He did it. It's pretty funny to see the obviousness like of what has been to space versus what hasn't versus what has been to space versus what hasn't. And if you're wondering what in here has been flown in space or has flight flown, you gotta look for this symbol right here on the outside of it. So, this SpaceX capsule right here has been flight flown. Also another interesting thing though is that this Orion capsule has been flown, but it doesn't look as beat up as some of the SpaceX stuff. So upstairs at Spaceport KSC, they have a little ride and we'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can see what the ride is all about from the last time that we came here. But something that they've added since the last time we were here was estimated wait times here at the bottom of the ramp. So if you're wanting to go to the Red Planet, you gotta wait 40 minutes, but if you're okay going to Daring Express or Uncharted Worlds or Cosmic Wonders, it's only a 20 minute wait. First stop for Taste of Space is at the Space Bowl Bistro for the cranberry smoothie. I love it. Have another sip, buddy. <laughs> so this is cranberry, orange, banana, and agave. It's dairy free and it was $6.99. All right, what do you think of it? I good. <laughs> mm, so this is one of the new menu items for the Taste of Space Food Festival. Without anything, it's very banana heavy. Okay. But the cranberry and the orange give it a little tartness. Okay. So it's like, and tart. Mm. It is very cold. Oh yeah, it is very cold. Yeah. Mm. Also, speaking of that, 
Look at Tim's cool hat. What does that have to do with bananas? Straight from the 80s. Lots of chunks of cranberry in there. Yeah, it was fresh. I saw them make it. It took about five minutes for them to make, and it's all fresh fruit. Oh. Yeah. Very nice. It is. Very refreshing for a hot day. Yeah, it's so hot today. Jackson loves it so much, he almost doesn't want to share. Now we're headed outside of Gateway. We're headed over in this direction because there's a, a play area over there called Planet Play that Jackson will love. And also another food stop. Ooh, this purple building right here, that's Planet Play. Ooh, Jackson just saw this spaceman over here and he's very excited to go take a picture with the spaceman. Say hello, space person. We have a fist bump, fist bump. Yeah. Can take a picture with them? We came into the gift shop <laughs> and somebody wants to wear an astronaut helmet. It was like squished on his face. Whoa, bud, you gotta do it this way so you can see. Ooh. What's he doing? You can't see that way. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, check this out. They have a lounge fly backpack <laughs> with a space shuttle on it and they have a lounge fly wallet. Oh, and it has the worm <laughs> logo on it too. How cool is that? How much are these? These are oh eighty five dollars for the per, or for the backpack and forty dollars for the wallet. What's that? That's a that's a space shuttle. All right, next stop on our food journey. We're heading into Orbit Cafe. Oh, I'm very excited. Oh, so what you're looking for is anything that has the Taste of Space emblem on the bottom of it is here for the Taste of Space event. This is interesting because it looks like a beer, but it's not. It's literally just Jello with lemon foam topping. Also happening as part of Taste of Space is the Taste of Space Celebrity Chef Edition on November 4th. So they have live celebrity chef demonstrations and tastings and then an exclusive VIP chef experience available. And the tickets are available on kennedyspacecenter.com. So you could come here and you could have something with Rocco, Duff, or Mark. So inside of the Orbit Cafe, you come in and you place your order on a little kiosk here. Yeah, and we were able to get the cheesy potato casserole with bratwurst. That's one of the items on the Taste of Space menu. So, unfortunately, they were out of the dessert that we wanted to try. It must have been a very popular one, but we'll show you the picture on the big menu. Right. But everything looks pretty good. It's kind of like a standard cafeteria, but the prices aren't bad. So, pretty all right. All right, this is what we have. This is part of the Taste of Space menu. This is a cheesy potato casserole with bratwurst. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Huh. Okay. I will say it looks a little different than the picture. Yeah. So we'll see how it tastes. But. And then also on the Taste of Space menu is this Black Forest cupcake. But then a layer of, I think, cherry. Yeah, I think you're right. And then you guys just got some regular stuff. This is a buffalo chicken sandwich with some lettuce, tomato, pickles, and then I got a little ranch. We got... This is the toasted mozzarella and tomato sandwich. It looks pretty good, actually. The bread on the picture was a little different looking, though. And I think there's some pesto in there. Looks pretty good, came with fries. And then Jackson got some macaroni and cheese. And that came with grapes, and then we got some french fries for the table. Because I didn't know that the sandwiches came with fries. They don't say that on the picture. So it's an even better deal than I thought. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna try it. I got bratwurst, I got cheese, I got potato. Oh, I need some of the bread, too. They're actually remarkably good. Is it? Yeah. I have to say, it doesn't look great. It has all the flavors that you'd want. Pretzel bread, bratwurst, cheese, potatoes. Fantastic. Just, it looks like a regular cupcake on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Give it a little taste. Good. I figured it was gonna be good. I don't know how you could go wrong with a black forest cupcake. It's like very moist. It looks very moist. Yeah, that's delicious. Slight, slight, slight into cherry. Yeah, that's good. Nice. <laughs> also, I wanted to mention that my sandwich, it didn't look super great. It, the, the grilled chicken looked a little small and I thought it was gonna be dry, but it ended up being really, really good. And they had extra of the um, Frank's Red Hot sauce. So I just like ground it in Red Hot and ranch and it was really delicious. The chicken was moist and um, it, just, it was a nice, a nice little sandwich. So don't judge a book by its cover. Eat it first. See how it tastes. Eat the book? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a bite of the cupcake now, but I wanted to show you 
there's a pretty good layer of that jelly in there. So let's see. I usually don't love chocolate and fruit together, but this is a really nice flavor combination. The chocolate, it's like, like a really rich chocolate. And then the, the cherry. I like it. I would order this again. And originally it wouldn't have been my first choice, but I would totally order this again. Do you realize that as soon as the camera is pointed at your face, you talk quieter? When I, do? I was pointed at the, at the thing, you're like, this has a good layer of this, and then oh, I point it at your face, and you go, I usually wouldn't <laughs> like chocolate. Because the microphone was farther away from me. Oh man, you're, you're so quiet. Like, Am I? Right now, you're talking normal. Oh, sorry. But when you were talking about it, you go, this is this is how loud you were talking. Well, you, you ate all your sandwich? Yeah. Good job. Oh yeah, we gotta play in the play area, okay. We have to go over to Planet Play. That's like one of the main reasons why we were excited for Jackson to be with us today, because He's I've never, never done this. I've never been in there. No, have you not? I've looked at it. Oh, okay. But I haven't like explored. Today's the day. Yes. We're doing it. On Mars, there is this face-like object that was photographed by the Viking One Orbiter in 1976. And then they came up with a new one, a new photo of it. And it doesn't look like a face anymore. So we always, I always thought that it was interesting that like in 1976, aliens confirmed. <laughs> Nowadays, that's just a mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next stop, Planet Play. We're going inside. And this is right across from the Orbit Cafe where we just were. Right, here we go, we're headed into Planet Play. This equipment is designed for children ages three to 12. Now Jackson is two, but he is, oh, toddler zone. He can go into the toddler zone, zero to three. Now we're headed in right now to Planet Play. We're gonna try to find the toddler zone. Let's He's see. So excited. Let's see, buddy. Wow, this looks amazing. Look at this. It's like they can climb everywhere. Hey, Whoa, you made it. <laughs> What'd you think? Like Did you like that? Yeah. Ooh, Jackson's gonna come down this big slide now. He's gonna be an asteroid. Let's see, here he comes. Whoa! Look at that speed! Was that, that was fun? So, cool. so there's, there's lots of really cool areas to plan at play where you can climb. This kind of looks like maybe like a, a solar flare almost. You can climb on that. They also have like a rope floor even. There's this whole climbing area where you can climb from Mercury to Pluto to Mars. That doesn't seem right. That's not it. That is incorrect. <laughs> But it looks really neat. And I think this might be Saturn up here. Oh, and then up top there's even like a ball area where you can throw balls, I think. I hit this thing with the sunglasses on. Oh, we got, let's go up there. There is also an area up here for adults where you can do beers and wines. If you want just like water, coffees and stuff like that. Which of course is all for an additional charge, of course. They also have a toddler play area here that's themed to the moon. Look, He's in the moon rover. He's on a lunar rover. What are these? Look, step on that panel right there. Step on that. What does that do? Tell me what happens when you step on it. Whoa, look at that liquid moving around in there. Oh. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa. Nice work. What color were you? Orange? Wow. Did you win? I don't know what happened. So you got to get the balls from down here, put them in your little blaster. <laughs> I got one on me. And then you try to shoot, I guess, the satellites? Let's see. Push the button. Push it again. Push the button again. Okay, put it in there. Let's push the button. Whoa, you got him! What are we trying to do? Let's go up here. Good job! Alright, buddy, we're gonna try to fit through here together. Okay? Okay, I'm coming too. Okay, hold on, wait for me. Okay. Yeah? I'm coming right behind you, bud. Good job, buddy. We're way up over top of everybody. I mean, looking for us. Right through there. I don't even know if the camera will catch it. Alright, now we have to make it down this next one. Wish me luck. I'm coming right behind you. You're doing good. Okay, we're almost to the bottom. 
Okay. You did it. I did it, Mama. Oh no. I did it. Hold on, I'm Daddy's stuck. You did the whole thing. That was hard. <laughs> right. I didn't realize how involved it was until I was like actually watching you do it. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Well, good. You did it. I did it. It hurt a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> so they're upstairs again, shooting the balls at the. I guess they're supposed to be like satellites, but there they are. I think this is one of his favorite parts of this whole play area was the little blaster. Oh, it's a rocket ship! All right, I'm gonna go down the slide too. Ready? As fast as we can go. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. This is great. The kids all color in a satellite. So the kids can color in a satellite and then they put it in this contraption over here and then it ends up on here on this big screen. You just like scan your satellite right there. Mommy also colored one with Jackson's name on it. What'd you think of Planet Play? Yeah, you liked it? You had a lot of fun? Yeah. Well, you want to go again on a different day? So we're going to take our our space art that we did of our like satellites we're gonna hang them up at home we show jackson's yeah it's good look at that it's a christmas satellite i know it is the season so this is really cool i didn't realize these are actual like spacecraft yeah. that you're you're coloring so this is the horizon spacecraft it's the fastest spacecraft ever launched oh it was launched here uh january 19th 20 2006 it weighs a thousand and fifty four pounds and it took nine years for Horizon to get to Pluto. Whoa. And it, the primary mission of Horizon, of New Horizons, is to study Pluto and its system of moons. Neat. So that's the, that's what this specific spacecraft was made to do. So yeah. it's like a real thing. It doesn't have an actual smiley face on it. You don't know that. That's true, I do, <laughs> but uh, I How might cool. not. <laughs> this is such a cool way for kids to like get excited about like real science. Yeah, space. So, I love it. So Planet Play has a limit of 30 minutes and we spent our 30 minutes in there and now we have left. Also in the same building as Planet Play is an IMAX theater. And now we are headed over to the world's largest space shop. Because we, we were already in there for a second, but Jackson wants some ice cream. So we thought, let's get him some astronaut ice cream. Ooh, buddy, all kinds of different. You want the ice cream sandwich? Oh, that's all they have. Oh, they have the Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Oh, what is this What did one? you get? Vanilla? Vanilla. And then they have... Just Neapolitan. Neapolitan. I have this one. Okay. You, okay. You do, you, do you want one? the strawberries too? You want the no, strawberries, this, buddy? I think. Okay. There used to be one that was like just three flavors. Okay. Not in the sandwich. <laughs> here's my here's my favorite thing is that he he says now I love you too. So he's like I love you to open the sandwich now. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You eating your astronaut ice cream? What do you think of it? It's good. Does this make you want to be an astronaut? No. <laughs> they don't really eat this in space. Have they never eaten it? I don't think so. I it think makes too much dust. Well, I think we talked about this last time he tried it. All right, next stop, the bus. We're heading on a bus tour and we're going over to the Saturn V building. Jen just noticed, and actually I don't think I've ever noticed this before, but this sign looks like the vehicle assembly building. Oh, cool. in Atlantis. We didn't even go into Atlantis today. Oh, no. Dang. Now we're getting on a bus. Ooh, it's a fancy bus. It's got moon. Like it looks like the moon on the ground here. We're on a different planet. We're getting ready to pass by the vehicle assembly building. And actually right now, inside of there is SLS. They moved it in there for the hurricane to protect it. Can we stay here? Right here? We have the emergency. Okay. Also when we pass over this car. All right, we're here at the Apollo 5 Center. And they usually have a, uh, a show here. And we're actually gonna skip that show today. We'll put a link to a video in the description down below that shows that show so you guys can watch it if you like to. But it's basically just showing you what a launch looked like from the control center. Yeah, in because, 1965. Yeah, and it's all like real memor not memorabilia. It's real, the real consoles. It's the actual consoles. The real consoles? launch consoles, yeah. Oh, yeah. So definitely watch that video if you're interested in that. It's really cool. But you do come out of the show to a pretty fantastic reveal of this Saturn V rocket. And it is massive. Jackson, who's this right here? That's Snoopy. Snoopy! Wow, Snoopy the astronaut. And our last stop for the Taste of Space event is the Moon Rock Cafe. Here's where we're getting. We're getting the beer cheese soup and the turkey cranberry and brie sandwich. So here's what we got. We got the bacon and beer cheese soup. With a pretzel roll. With a pretzel roll. That was 5 dollars 
Then we got the brie and turkey with a cranberry sauce sandwich. That's eight fifty nine. And then we got the pumpkin cheesecake. And that one was six forty nine. This one I think looks the best out of all of them. It does have like a cranberry mayonnaise. Oh. And then it's pressed. Oh. Sounds good. I love it. Which one do you want right. to try first? The cheese soup. So these were part of the new menu items for the Taste of Space Food Festival. You want to try the beer cheese soup? Yeah, I okay, want to so just dip. First I'm going to try the soup because it's looking... Looking awfully thick. Well, it looks very like, not like orange cheese. It, it doesn't taste like soup to me, it tastes more like a dip to me. It's very thick. So I kind of wish just by looking at it that you got more than one breadstick or a smaller portion of soup. Okay. So. Now dip it and tell me what you think of it. It's so thick. Yeah. <laughs> and it has so much salt on the pretzel. Good on the pretzel. Yeah. A little, a little too much salt. For I'm gonna, me, I'm gonna scrape the salt off. No. Pretty salty, but very good. The, the pretzel breadstick is like chewy but firm. Okay. It really like holds the, um, the sauce the soup on well. well. The soup on well. It's pretty good. I would say this is like, I would definitely get this and share it with somebody. It's it's kind of like rich, I feel like, for me, just one person. Yeah. But the flavor is really nice. Smoky, very cheesy, obviously. And the bacon, uh, it adds a really nice like saltiness to it too. That's my style right there. Yeah. <laughs> that was real good. I don't know what you're talking about. This is great. It's very like thick. That's what... That's what cheese soup is. It's literally cheese soup. <laughs> How could you have a thin cheese oh soup? I don't know. Pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say like it was slight, bad. Slight onion flavor to it too. Mm. But I, did, I also just want to mention, I didn't say it was bad. I just said it was um, like more of a dip than a soup in my opinion. Put some broccoli in there. Yeah, right? All right, let's give it a try. Nice freshly pressed turkey sandwich. Got like a nice crispy flavor. Crispy and then, flavor? Like a crispy yeah. texture. Oh, okay. And then the cheese and the turkey together have like a nice, like well-rounded flavor, creamy and then turkey. So um, it's brie. Brie is a very like gooey, yeah. melty cheese. But then the, the cranberry mayonnaise in there gives it like a, like a kick, like a punch. It's kind of tart, yeah. Cranberry tartness of it, yeah. Kind of gets you after you've had a little bit. Can you hear that crunch? It makes me want to buy a panini maker. Would you order um, these again? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'd order this one again. It's pretty good. Oh, this bird. There's 10 birds outside and they you all want know. turkey sandwiches. I don't trust, I don't trust <laughs> birds. <laughs> I just wanted to show you, it's a nice portion of brie there. It is very creamy. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's very good. I like the, the cranberry mayonnaise really makes it. I think so too. Hmm. All right, pumpkin cheesecake time. There's some sort of like caramel sauce on it or something here. Let's see. I didn't say anything on the menu about that. That's pretty delicious. Is it's, it? It's like a solid pumpkin pie cheesecake. Yeah. Does it taste like pumpkin spice it's, it's or pumpkin like, pie? It's like pumpkin pie. Ooh, I love that. I love it when things taste like actual pumpkin pie and not just the like chemically pumpkin spice flavor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm, yeah, it smells like like the canned pumpkin yeah. pie filling. And it's a little bit thick because it's a cheesecake, but you're not getting it's overwhelmed like with the cheese. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's some cream. cheesecakes can get like grainy. Mm, yeah. This isn't that. It's creamy. This is so good. It's nice, right? Yeah, this I think is my this is my favorite thing of the day, I think. Okay. Wow. This is so good. Nice. This makes me like excited for Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. You know what? Um, fun fact, Thanksgiving is on my birthday this year. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah, so for my birthday cake, I would like this cheesecake. Oh, I thought you were going to say a turkey. For my birthday cake? Yeah, like, a, like instead of a duck cake, a turkey cake. Oh. No, I want this specific cheesecake. In the me. shape of a turkey. Sure. Okay. However you, however you can do it, this is what I want. So the area that we're at is called the Banana Creek Viewing Area, and you have a perfect view of the launch pads especially this one right here, which is where Artemis or SLS is going to be launching from November 14th. Very excited for that. I have a room for us at the Courtyard Marriott just on the other side of the river. I'm gonna link that video down below where you you stayed at this hotel that's very close to the Kennedy Space Center and we're, we're gonna come and we're gonna see it. Yeah, it was, well, depending on the timing. And from the Saturn V, we took our bus 
back to where we were before, right at the main visitor complex. All right, so we got a little bit of a pro tip for you because it's the end of the day for us. Kennedy Space Center is closing in about 45 minutes. The, the line at the gift shop is like, like from the front of the building all the way to the back of the building. So I would recommend coming to the gift shop maybe like before three. Yeah. So try to try to make your purchases before three so you don't have this like crazy long line. Right. That's just my pro tip. That's just my opinion. For the NASA, for the Kennedy Space Center gift shop. There's a sign in here that is talking about spinoffs. It says that NASA has had over more than 2,000 spinoffs. The spinoff is an everyday technology that was created to and applied by applying science from NASA. Oh, Some so examples of that when are. When we were on the bus, they talked about how NASA, um, how memory foam and smoke detectors originated at NASA. Yeah. Have their their origins in NASA technology. Yeah, they're a spinoff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you have a memory foam mattress, thank NASA. If you have a smoke detector, thank NASA. If you got a rocket. Thank NASA. Jen, yeah. you want another hot tip? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. All right, so there you have it. That was our trip out to Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex to explore the complex and also try some of the delicious food from Taste of Space. It was good. It was a good day. The food was delicious. We got to go into Planet Play, which was super fun. I've never been in there before. Jackson loved it. Right? That was like his favorite thing. And then we also got to uh, try some delicious, delicious food. So I do want to mention that although this trip was not like a comprehensive trip showing you all that Kennedy Space Center has to offer, we do have a ton of videos from Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex that I will link down below. So if you want to see any of the other things that they have that you missed in this video, I highly recommend checking out those videos down below. There's so many amazing exhibits and just things to do and see here that we didn't show you today. Yeah. So check those out. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. I wanted to say thank you to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex for having us out. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.